So what the war in the Ukraine is going to do, if nothing else changes, and the caveat that is a lot could happen between the ne- now and the next few years. Right. But unless something changes, Ukraine's agriculture will be wrecked for probably over a decade. Problem is Ukraine's one of the world's top exporters of fertilizers, mm-hmm. wheat, and grain. The parts of the world that are extremely dependent on that are parts of the Middle East and Africa. So unless something changes, you're looking at mass famine and starvation in those areas. What that will most likely do if nothing changes is drive tens of millions of African and Arab migrants right into the heart of Europe. It'll be the biggest inward migration since the disintegration of the Roman Empire in the 5th century AD, and that's big. It might collapse some of those European countries into civil war, strain their healthcare systems. Now, when that starts to happen to people like the French and the Germans, their backs get put to the wall. How do they tend to respond and behave? Well, we in U.S. Army Europe talked this over and we figured, okay, only a handful of courses of action. One, they're overrun and destroyed, which suits Russia's strategic interest because it destroys a chunk of NATO. And Germany is NATO's primary logistics hub, which the Russians have not failed to notice. So that's one possibility. Next one is right-wing parties come to power and they fight it out, maybe capitulate later. Or three, the right-wing parties come to power, they strip off the later hose and the jackboots come back on. And we might see ethnic cleansing on a scale we haven't seen since the Holocaust or World War II. Now, on the surface, people might say, okay, those right-wing parties, some are, I don't want to paint with too broad a brush here, but some right. of their members are anti-NATO, some are not, some are pro-American, some are pro-Russian, but there's the problem. Those parties come to power, it's highly likely that given how many of them have expressed pro-Russian or pro-Putin sympathies, that the Russians end up in control of the parliaments of France, which is a nuclear power. Uh-oh. How scary is that? Oh, it is. Netherlands and Germany. And if nothing else, they destroy half of NATO and basically slice it in half, which puts the U.S., Canada, and Britain in one hell of a bind if we have to respond. And the Russian security services, they know exactly what they're doing. In fact, it's most likely the security services that are controlling the war because they're expending a lot of firepower simply to destroy Ukraine's agriculture, even though right now it doesn't impact their military that much because of all the supplies we're giving them. So the Russians are thinking a couple steps ahead. So they can more or less either wreck it or end up in control of it one way or the other.